Let's bring in my next guest. Joining me now is political journalist John Fonda. John, great to have you with us on the program here. Massive news out of the Middle East still going on. Israel has not fully gone into Gaza yet, although that is expected to happen one of these days very soon, perhaps within hours. How is this all playing out politically, John, for the president? Joe Biden has been quite strong in some of his defenses about Israel. Is this going to play well for him domestically and perhaps give him a bit of that impression of being a leader when he has for the past many months seemed very much to be kind of doddering and blown around by the winds. Americans do not focus on foreign policy unless their own citizens are in peril. And so far, we're only talking about 10 hostages. But Joe Biden is not helped that much by this in the end, because the more there is crisis and chaos in the world, the more look, the more people look at an 80 one year old, 82 year old, whatever he is, and say, is this the man that we want to make the consequential decisions and is he prepared for it? So I think that Biden probably view this as a net negative. The world in chaos is not his friend. Having said that, uh, I think that Biden's strong Israel stance certainly helps him in the Jewish community, but there are suspicions among many, many members of Congress that he went so four, so four square for Israel because he wanted to have leverage to prevent them from exercising a Gaza invasion quickly. In other words, the U.S. now has a veto power in effect over much of Israelis' foreign policy, and that is a problem because the Israelis said 10 days ago they would be invading. I'm still waiting. You're still waiting. Many people will make a little bit more, I think. And, John, every day that that doesn't happen, every day of waiting, Hamas gets to dig in that much harder, prepare itself for whatever is Israeli invasion or attempt to unroot them is going to look like. And at the same time, we're also on that theme of chaos. We're now seeing attacks by Iranian-backed militants in Iraq against U.S. forces uh, and a general turning up of the temp temperature. Is the actual analogy here, you know, Joe Biden talked about China this this week saying trust but verify using Reagan's words, but is Joe Biden actually turning into the next incarnation of Jimmy Carter? Well, I'll tell you, Biden's policy on Iran was not trust but verify. It was mostly trust and ship money to them uh, when he was the vice president under Obama. And of course, $6 billion in oil credits uh, that haven't yet been transferred but were agreed to. Uh, I think that the real problem here is that the United States is once again negotiating with itself. It's negotiating with its better self. It's negotiating as if it were negotiating with another democracy and someone whose word could be kept. That is not the case. The real problem here is fortitude. The Israelis have it. I'm not sure the U.S. has it. Um, any invasion of Gaza is going to be a bloodbath. Now, that's not a negative word. That's simply a descriptive word. There will be a lot of casualties, including many civilians who have been told by Hamas to stay in place. Can the Western world take all of the fury that will result from that from the usual quarters? And that will include, of course, Europe. And so that then, you know, leads to the next question, which is how much of that Iranian dealing that he's been doing, not just, I would say, trusting, or you said trusting, but also, in fact, actively enabling them under Obama, the JCPOA, the nuclear deal. We still haven't really seen much even in the way of sanctions reimposed on Iran. This seems very much, I think, like Joe Biden is playing a double game here, you know, talking like uh, uh, Israel is their friends, but limiting what they can do. And at the same time, Time, you know, saying to Iran, well, we want you to still be a major player in the Middle East, even if you're attacking our troops. How does that work? You're giving them too much credit, James. <laughs> I think they're just making it up as they go along. Remember, oh, Biden was part of the administration led by Barack Obama, who said that his leadership style in the world was leading from behind. Well, I think we're leading from leading from some part of our body that has nothing to do with our brain. Let's put it that way. <laughs> And I think I think it's I think it's the gastrointestinal tract that is constantly churning with. Am I going to be criticized? Am I going to be criticized? So I don't think there's much coherence here. Now, luckily, the Israelis have decided, uh, and some of the Arab world has decided that it's good to go along with this for a while because there's no other plausible alternative. Uh, but I think we're going to come to a break point very soon in which hard decisions are going to be made. What will be the response to these massacres be? And I mm. fear the, the world's resolve 
to punish Hamas is dwindling by the moment. John Fun, thank you so much for your time. Always a pleasure having you here on the U.S. Report.